so good afternoon everyone so we will discuss today our second uh, tutorial class regarding the conductivity and free electron gas and similarly ideal gas problems okay so before going to the problem session first we will go through the class what was are discussed in the week 2 okay so first the session first uh, classes it's related to the conductivity so normally we know that um, we know the material which classified from the metal semiconductors and insulators so mainly in metal um, <coughs> the conductivity scale which is vary from 10 to the power 7 and for the insulator it will be 10 to the power minus 20 so the total 10 to the power 27 vary is power factor variation is there from for the conductivity of the materials okay so normally conductivity means what we have carriers we are thinking about normally it's is electron other than electron there is the other counting species conducting species which are there the holes and ions okay so if you consider an atom you can get that uh, for a cons uh, example if you consider metal body uh, in that you can see that electrons will be present there ions will be present there and holes also will be present where the electron vacant spaces okay so now you see here you will get a model that conditioning species in the electrochemical power source so what we have done it is we are to one anode and cathode which is uh, connected by the electrolyte which will be some ionic conductor so electron is transferring from here to the external load and flowing by back okay so here when you see that in this circuit so that is one uh, an example another example is like a normal pnp trans any transistor which we are using in semiconductor industry so here if you see here pnp uh, transistor here it will be more hole carriers will be there in p section also hole carriers in this section electrons will be there hmm? so when we measure the conductivity like if you are applying a dc current so this will be the circuit what we have, we are connecting an emitter with the voltage source like battery or whatever it is and our sample and the vo uh, voltmeter which is connected parallel to the sample what we are measuring the conduct okay which is a true probe measurement to probe nothing but that it is connecting two sides of the sample like two connections will be there. that's the true probe materials okay so normally what are the uh, formulas what method we are using to measure so voltage is equal to Ohm's law we know that V is equal to IR and R will be the resistivity of the material and as well as the not only resistivity of the material uh, means resistance of the material it's the uh, whole total mes uh, resistance which means the resistance of the sample whatever we are loading and as well as the connection with wherever the contact is happening like <coughs> for example if you are connecting here so this end conduct will be there in both sides so that resistivity also resistance also we have to take care here so normally the resistance will be rho into l by a uh, which means rho is the resistivity l is the length of the sample and a is the area of cross section and the conductivity will be the one over resistivity okay so if you see here this diagram so when we sample connected to uh, two n connections so we can see that the way when we plot the potential versus position so first the potential drop will be there when the connect sample is connected with the wire that junction there will be a potential drop okay and this potential is the which one we have to measure actually uh, to measure the resistivity of the sample or conductivity of the sample for that what we are doing uh, so there will be a drop again and still in the another contact session two probe methods so, so it will be there and again voltage drop and the normal voltage potential will be there so actually we need this result to measure to understand the sample conductivity but 
but we are totally getting the potential difference even potential difference which passing through the wire but that we can be neglected and remaining it will be from the contact also as well as the sample also now if we change a uh, dc potential dc voltage to the ac then our connections will be like that so there will be arising the impedance team okay there will be impedance to obstruction to the flow to the current like uh, when we are dealing with the resistance in dc situation same way impedance will be there in when we connected to the ac samples it means ac voltage so, okay so here uh, how the uh, response like I am current or voltage to the time so normally if you see that it will be like a sine wave it's a function of sine only both voltage and current and both will be in the in phase Similarly, if you plot it, we can see that there will be real and imaginary part. Uh, so, current we can take into account so I real and imaginary part. So, this is the way you have to represent the current, and as well as the uh, there will be angle dif phase difference. That phase difference we can see from the vector notation. So, this will be the current uh, in the vector notation, and we can see the how much phase difference theta in that. Okay. then the impedance will be how much if it is a normal ac voltage when we are connecting then the impedance will put similarly potential to we can be presenting as the imaginary and real part similarly current also real and imaginary part so the total impedance will be having two sections one is the real part and another one is imaginary part so then similarly we have to do vr plus i v i divided by i r plus i i i so that will be impedance will be simply v by i like resistance in real in normal cases it will be like same as the resistance in the case of dc okay now if we consider a capacitor so what will happen in case of capacitor there is a 90 degree shift in case of current and voltage so if you see current it leads voltage by 90 degrees so voltage if current is at the zero the voltage already 90 degree behind uh, for the current so it will be minus one okay then accordingly <coughs> the values will be there so if this impedance for this situation so it will be z is equal to minus i divided by omega c Okay, omega is the frequency, C is the capacitance of the system, I the current. Okay, so that will be the impedance value for the capacitor. Now, if you take a inductor, in case of inductor, what will happen? The current lag voltage behind by 90 degrees so as per earlier case we can see that in capacitor voltage will start from here in this case voltage is when the current is zero voltage is 90 degree ahead of that okay so then the impedance will be z is equal to i omega l so these things you have to remember so normally measuring a conductivity in ac that are the obstructions to flow of the current that will be one normal resistance which will be present and as well as when we are connecting to the capacitor then there will be impedance due to the capacitor also that will be minus i by omega c and as well as the when you connect it to the inductor then it will be z is equal to i omega l so normally a circuit when we see there will be presence of resistors inductors and as well as the um, capacitors then we have to these many obstructions will be there to against flow of the current now if you measure the conductivity uh, if you plot it then the imaginary part 
this um, what impedance re, uh, for the capacitor and impedance for the inductance will come into the imaginary part and as well as the Im resist impedance for the resistor nothing but its resistance will come in the real part that home centimeter inverse okay so if you plot that in a circuit with r02 resistance and one capacitor then the plot will be this impedance plot will be like if you are plotting between impedance real and imaginary part then it will be like a semi parabola uh, it will be like a parabola how it looked like the real part r0 will start from here when we move from here to here it will reach the maximum the imaginary part value and it will come to the zero value which means real value okay so that's thing so it's maximum frequency which will be 1 over r1 c1 now if we serially connected to the same circuit multiple times so same curve you can see but what will happen earlier the curve would become from starting from zero imaginary part to again zero but in this case the imaginary part will be higher which means the conductance impedance and as well as the uh, inductor impedance will be much higher compared to the resistance okay So these are the main things you have to remember in this section. Now if we go to the free electron gas, in case of free electron gas actually what we are dealing here is like we know that in metals there will be free electrons uh, near to the Fermi level. So that free electrons will be like uh, as he explained in the class.
सो इन आइडियल केस वॉट वी आर डूइंग नॉर्मली सेल इन फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉनिक गैस वी आर ट्रीट इन लाइक ए आइडियल गैस ओके सो दैट अप्रोक्सीमेशन वी आर टेकिंग एंड सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम्स एंड गेटिंग द न्यू थियरीज ओके सो इन दैट केस so before go into that we have to go through symbol uh, cubic and all the crystal structure packing fractions and how the structure will be so that we will discuss today in the problem solving session so now if you see the ideal gas that is in stp situation standard situation that temperature and room tem normal temperature and the pressure so the volume will be 22.4 liter okay so now in there will be how many number of atom avogadro number of atoms will be there so in the case like avogadro number divided by uh <coughs> this volume 22. Uh, 4 liter that we are making into into uh, meter cubes into 10 to the power minus 3 then you will get atom per meter cube that number of moles you will get it similarly if you take any kind of atom like silver or whatever it is you can convert it that into the mole and get the values okay so these things you have to remember i hope all of you went through the classes and here also we are discussing about the ideal gas situations to the free electron gas so we are considering that in a box and uh, this ideal gas so in the box how we are treating atoms so there will be normally um so we are calculate the rate of change of momentum that is nothing but force and total force will be how much and similarly we we are calculating the uh, our uh, number of moles so n into our gadra number the total force will be this much and the velocity v is equal to vx square on three direction we can take so 3 vx square so vx will be it's like v square by v3 so the total force will be mn nad v square by 3l okay so uh, then in case of ideal gas we know that pv is equal to nrt normal ideal gas equation uh, so that also we have to substitute and we will get half mv square the energy will be 3 by 2 kbt in case of the ideal gas okay and that is very important formula and volume we know that l cube from there we are calculating specific heat for the uh, for the ideal gas so it will be and cv cp values we are finding so these are the main important things wh what we have learned in the week 3 classes okay so related to that we will start the problems once so for that just go through the uh, session whatever which i have shown now then we will go to the problems one by one so just refresh that then we will start the basics problems which define in the class already
we will go to the problems one by one so first we will see some simple basic theory questions So just read the question first and let me know what is the answer you will get. So see the first question. This questions which we relate which is related to the last week, I mean first week uh, few basic questions. So first we will solve that five question, then we will go to the week one class sections questions. Okay. So first question the two ends a and b of a long metal bar are kept at a difference of temperature 60 and 100 degrees celsius respective um, a four probe measurement shows that dash at both end is same so what will be the answer so the answer will be ionic conductivity which will be the same okay and similarly electrical conductivity which will be different now see the three state uh, of a, a material that solid liquid and gases among them various properties of ma material are like solids can have mechanical properties as well as the liquid can have electronic properties this electrical properties and the gas can have thermal properties now if you see which material property is responsible for the formation of ferric oxide in iron pillar which property it is property will be chemical property then an example of a metal material with excellent thermal conductivity but poor conductivity what will be the answer diamond that we have discussed last week also and see the uh, if the energy versus distance curve of a symmetric nature that means atomic position will be remain unchanged that will be the ideal case okay
No. These questions now now onwards the questions which is related to the last week. So please try to answer your questions first in the yourself like first question and other four questions. Then we will discuss it. So what will be the answer for this all?
so first we will go to the small mathematical problem so it will be first question what is the current density of the material with resistivity of 12 ohm meter and the electric field of 64 volt per meter similarly if the voltage of 6 volt is passes through the substance with a radius 2 meter and the length 3 meter what is the electric field so there will be one formula for electric field that is nothing but voltage per current so v by i Mm, so that we have to just remember to solve some small problems okay and similarly current density will be electric field by j so that also just remember that uh, current density rho how much value will be and voltage and as well as the j value that is current density uh, uh, current per unit area okay uh, so just read the question and see the answers here the first, first question the current density that value will be e by j is equal to rho just solve yourself the mathematical part and the second question you have to find the electric field so it will be v by i and third question you have to find the electric field that in terms of i r divided by that uh, you will get the um, voltage per that will be e 19 you answer you will get it and fourth one question you have to find the current density and from there you have to calculate the resistivity and the conductivity okay so that you have to find it and another one last question is a metal originally has been electron colliding with an event every fifth atoms and increases from the temperature of uh, 6k to 100k and a semiconductor originally has been electron colliding with every fifth atoms and increase the temperature of uh, 6k to 100k what did the material you have greater resistivity why so the case of that the metal that has a greatest resistivity metal cause that is metal because temperature increases metal are more likely to increases in resistivity in ischemic semiconductor what will happen usually decrease in resistivity as temperature increases okay So just go through the problem and solve yourself then we will go to the next set of problems. It's all small even the formulas are very small uh, but you have to you please remember it okay accordingly then you can easily solve the problems
no we will go to the another problem these are very small problems just go we will answer it so what is the sister's uh, essay unit for the electrical resistivity it will be ohmmeter and what is the relationship between electrical conductivity and electrical resistivity the relation between conductivity and resistivity will be sigma is equal to 1 over rho and is a rubber is a good conductor of electricity if a rubber cannot pass to a uh, electricity it's a like a insulator and explain the conductance of semi may conductor conducted uh, conducting capacity of a semiconductor lies between a conductor and a insulator give an example of good conductor that will be all kind of metals okay now here is the problem which i already told you the packing fraction for the system uh, if you consider the symbol cubic crystal solid unit cell so we can consider it will be like atoms are situated at the corner so of the uh, solids uh, cubic um, cube so that will be like the distance between be uh, one the length of the unit cell it will be a and you can see that therefore a will be 2r like if two atoms are touching the radius r then 2r will be there then the number of atoms in the uh, unit cell it will be 1 so because 8 corner 1 by 8 contribution so it will be 1 and the volume of the sphere will be 4 by 3 pi r cube and volume of the q will be 8 r cube a cube that is equal to 2 r square 8 r cube uh, the fraction will be um, how much 1 by 3 pi r cube divided by 8 r cube that will be 0 0.524 it will be 52.4 percentage will go to the body center system so body center mean uh, there will be atoms in the corner as well as the atoms in the body center of the cube so if we consider the triangle here triangle EFT then DF length will be how much B we are taking and ED and EF will be the edge of the length edge length so that will be A now we know that as for Pythagoras theorem B square is equal to A square plus A square it will be 2A square in triangle AFD we will get AFC is equal to C so and FD is equal to B and AD is equal to A then we can consider C square is equal to like this that will be 2A square so C will be how much uh, root 3 A now we know that uh, it's a body center so diagonal will be like 4 r will be the 1 2 3 4 4 radius will be there 4 r so root 3 a is equal to 4 r so r will be uh, a you can find it from that 4 r by root 3 so volume of the unit cell in terms of r we will get 64 r cube by 3 root 3 and bcc how many uh, atoms will be there in uh, one case of edge atoms corner atom it will be one contribution inside one so total two contribution so volume of it will be 2 into 4 by by 3 pi r cube so packing fraction will be volume of occupied
Now, if you see phase centered cubic HCP and CCP structure, so here also same way you have to do. Please go through it. It's very simple. So phase centered only you have to remember at the total number of R will be like the diagonal value for R is equal to root two A. That only you have to remember. Remaining all are same method. Then the packing fraction will be seventy four percentage. Now let us see the small problems which are related to the ideal gas. So determine the volume occupants occupied by the 2.34 gram of carbon dioxide in the gas at STP at a standard condition. So we know that PV is equal to NRT the formula and V will be N, the volume how much NRT divided by P. So substitute the values then you will get the answer for the volume. So these are very basic simple questions. Just go through it because one more question may come in your exam also.
Now see the second question. It was a similar kind of a sample of argon gas STP occupied at 52 point liter. Determine the number of moles of argon and the mass of the argon in the sample. So same way N is equal to PV by RT. We will get it. Substitute the value N. You will get it. So that is the number of moles. And multiply the number of moles by the atomic weight. You will get the gram weight in the
Now see the third problem. At what temperature uh, will be 0 0.65 uh, four moles of neon gas occupy 12.30 liter at 1.95 atmosphere? So what will be the answer for that? Again, we have to rearrange in terms of temperature PV by N R. Substitute the value, you will get a temperature 447 Kelvin. Okay, similarly, see the fourth problem. A 30.6 gram of gas uh, occupy 22.414 liter at STP. What is the molecular weight of this gas? So, seen, uh, since one mole gas occupy 22.414 STP, so molecule weight of the gas is 30.6 gram mole per inverse. Okay, similarly, another, another problem, a 40, point uh, 40 gram gas sample occupied 11.2 liter at STP, find the molecular weight of the gas. So, that also will be an easy problem, 12, 11.2 liter STP, we know that half of the molar volume. So, it will be 0.5 mole present, so therefore molar weight will be 80 gram per mole. Now, if you go through this problem. A 12 gram sample of gas occupied at 12 9.2 liter of mm, at STP. What is the molecular weight of the gas? So here you have to use PV is equal to NRT formula. From there you have to find the N is e, what is the N value. Mm, from there you have to get the weight and since from the STP so that you have to calculate how much gram per mole it is. Okay. <laughs> So please go through this problem once.
now see this problem uh, 96 gram of gas occupied 48 liter at 700 millimeter um, mercury and six at 20 degree celsius what is the molecular weight so the formula is pv is equal to nrt from there n we have to calculate number of moles then divided with the molecular mass then you will get the molecular weight of that okay this is one of the easy problem now if you see here same kind of problem only in the case of we have to calculate molecular weight the gram and uh, amount in liter which is given so pv is equal to nrt so for here we have to see the unit conversion once carefully that's it remaining all methods are same okay so there are few more problems which we i will up upload in the um, google classroom also okay so we will stop class here there are few problems which we can already solve so that i will be uploading in the ppt in the classroom and similarly a uh, remaining all mathematical problems which we discussed today also will be uploaded and the video also will be uploaded thank you all of you guys